The Siege of Tsingtai, sometimes Siege of Tsingtao, was the attack on the German port of Tsingtai in China during World War I by Japan and the United Kingdom. The Siege of Tsingtai took place between October 31 and November 7, 1914 and was fought by Japan and the United Kingdom against Imperial Germany. The siege was the first encounter between Japanese and German forces and also the first Anglo-Japanese operation during the war. Background Throughout the late 19th century, Imperial Germany joined other European powers in an imperialist scramble for colonial possessions. As with the other world powers, Germany began to interfere in Chinese local affairs. After two German missionaries were killed in 1897, China was forced to transfer Kyoko and the surrounding areas in Shantung to Germany in 1898 on a 99-year lease. Germany then began to assert its influence across the rest of the province and built the city and port of Tsingtai. This became the home base of the German Navy's East Asia Squadron, which operated in support of the German colonies in the Pacific. However, Britain viewed the German presence in China as a threat to her own interests and leased Weihai Wu, also in Shantung, as a naval port and coaling station, while Russia leased its own at Port Arthur and France at Kuang Chu Wan. Britain also began to forge close ties with Japan. Japan's developments in the late 19th century mirrored that of the European imperialist powers, and Japan acquired colonial footholds on the Asian mainland. Japanese and British diplomatic relations became closer and an Anglo-Japanese alliance was signed on January 30, 1902. This was seen as necessary, especially by Japan, who considered it as a step to deterring its main rival, Russia. Japan demonstrated its potential by its victory in the Russo-Japanese War 1904 Euro 1905, and the alliance continued into World War I. When the war in Europe began in August 1914, Britain promptly requested Japanese assistance. On August 15 Japan issued an ultimatum, stating that Germany must withdraw her warships from Chinese and Japanese waters and transfer control of its port of Tsingtai to Japan. The next day, Major General Mitsuomi Kamio, General Officer Commanding, 18th Infantry Division, was ordered to begin preparing to take Tsingtai by force. The ultimatum expired on August 23, and Japan declared war on Germany. At the beginning of hostilities, the ships of the East Asia Squadron under Vice Admiral Maximilian von Spee were dispersed at various Pacific colonies on routine missions. Spee's ships rendezvoused in the northern Mariana Islands for coaling, and except for the SMS Emden, which headed for the Indian Ocean, all made their way to the west coast of South America. The squadron engaged and destroyed a Royal Navy squadron at the Battle of Coronel, before being finally being destroyed itself at the Battle of the Falkland Islands in the South Atlantic. German defences, the Boxer Rebellion at the beginning of the century had led Germany to consider the defence of Tsingtai. The port and town were divided from the rest of the peninsula by steep hills. The natural line of defence lay along these hills, from the Kaiserstil to Litsuna Heights. A second 17 kilometers line of defence was set up along a closer line of steep hills. The final line of defence was along hills 200 metres above the town. A network of trenches, batteries, and other fortifications had been built in preparation for the coming siege. Germany had strengthened the defences from the sea, laying mines in the approaches to the harbour, and building four batteries and five redoubts. The fortifications were well equipped and were well manned. Build up. On August 27, the Imperial Japanese Navy sent ships under Vice Admiral Sadeki Kato, flying his flag in the pre dreadnought Tsunwu, to blockade the coast of Kyoko. The British Royal Navy strengthened the Japanese fleet by sending the China station's pre dreadnought HMS Triumph and the destroyer HMS Ask. According to a German press report after the siege, the Triumph was damaged by the German shore batteries. The blockading fleet consisted mainly of nearly obsolete warships, though it did at times include a few modern vessels. These included the dreadnoughts Kawachi, Setsu, the battlecruiser Conga, her sister Hiai, and the seaplane Kari Wakamura, whose aircraft became the first of its kind in the world to successfully attack land and sea targets. These Japanese aircraft would also take part in another military first, a nighttime bombing raid. 
The 18th Infantry Division was the primary Japanese army formation that took part in the initial landings, numbering some 23,000 soldiers with support from 142 artillery pieces. They began to land on September 2 at Lunko, Shandong, which was experiencing heavy floods at the time, and later at Lanshan Bay on September 18, about 29 kilometers east of Tsintai. China protested Japan's violation of her neutrality but did not interfere in the operations. The British government and the other European great powers were concerned about Japanese intentions in the region and decided to send a small symbolic British contingent from Tientsin in an effort to allay their fears. The 1,500-man contingent was commanded by Brigadier General Nathaniel Walter Barnard Easton and consisted of 1,000 soldiers of the 2nd Battalion, the South Wales Borderers later followed by 500 soldiers of the 36 Sikhs. The Germans responded to the threat against Tsingtai by concentrating all of their available East Asian troops in the city. Kaiser Wilhelm II made the defense of Tsingtai a top priority, saying that it would shame me more to surrender Tsingtai to the Japanese than Berlin to the Russians. The German garrison, commanded by naval captain and governor Alfred Mayer Waldeck, consisted of the Marines of three subbatalion, naval personnel, and soldiers, for a total strength of 3,625 men. He also had a modest complement of vessels, including the torpedo boat S-90. Four small gunboats, the Iltis, Jaguar, Tiger, and Lux. And the Austro-Hungarian protected cruiser Kaiserin Elizabeth, whose crew was initially divided in two, to man the ship and fight as part of the German land forces. On August 22, HMS Kennet of the China Squadron, under the command of Lieutenant Commander F. A. Russell while routinely monitoring the naval trade routes, encountered and was damaged in action by the German torpedo boat SMS S-90, the German gunboat SMS Lorting and a foreign shore battery off Tsingtai. She was hit twice from the retreating S-90. Siege As the Japanese approached his position, the German commander withdrew his forces from the two outer defensive lines and concentrated his troops on the innermost line of defense along the hills closest to the town. The Austro-Hungarian cruiser, SMS Kaiserin Elizabeth, was stationed in Tsingtai at the start of the war. On September 2, 1914 the German gunboat Jaguar sank the stranded Japanese destroyer Shirate. On September 5 the Japanese recon plane scouted the port and reported that the Asian-German fleet had departed. As a result the Japanese ordered the dreadnought, pre-dreadnought and cruiser to leave the blockade. The next day, the first air-sea battle in history took place when a farm and sea plane launched by the Wakaman unsuccessfully attacked the Kaiser in Elizabeth and the Jaguar in Kaizo Bay with bombs. On September 28 the Jaguar sank the Japanese cruiser Takashio. Early in the siege, the Kaiserin Elizabeth and German gunboat Jaguar made an unsuccessful sortie against Japanese vessels blockading Tsingay. Later, the cruiser's 15 cm and 4.7 cm guns were removed from the ship and mounted on shore, creating the battery Elizabeth. The ship's crew took part in the defense of Tsingtai. On September 13 the advancing Japanese land forces launched a cavalry raid on the German rearguard at Saimo which the German gave up and retreated. Subsequently the Japanese took control of Kiatsja and the Santang Railway. Lieutenant General Kamio considered this the point of no return for his land forces and as the weather became extremely harsh he took no risk and fortified the troops at the town and returned the yet to arrive reinforcements, re-embarked, and landed at Laoshan Bay. On October 17, 1914 the torpedo boat S-90 slipped out of Tsingtai Harbor and fired a single torpedo which sank the Japanese cruiser Takakio with the loss of 271 officers and men. S-90 was however unable to run the blockade back to Tsingtai and was scuttled in Chinese waters when the ship ran low on fuel. The Japanese started shelling the fort and the city on October 31 and began digging parallel lines of trenches just as they had done at the siege of Port Arthur nine years earlier. Very large 11-inch howitzers from land, in addition to the firing of the Japanese naval guns, brought the German defenses under constant bombardment during the night, the Japanese moving their own trenches further forward under the cover of their artillery. The bombardment continued for seven days, 
employing around 100 siege guns with 1,200 shells each on the Japanese side. While the Germans were able to use the heavy guns of the port fortifications to attack the landward positions of the Allies, they soon ran out of ammunition. When the artillery rounds had been finally used up by November 6, surrender was inevitable. The German garrison was able to field only a single Torp aircraft during the siege, flown by Lieutenant Gunterplau one quarter shell. The Torp was used primarily for frequent reconnaissance flights, but Plau one quarter shell made several nuisance attacks on the vessels of the blockading squadron, dropping jury rigged munitions and other ordnance on them. He also claimed the downing of a Japanese farm and MF-7 with his pistol, the first aerial victory in aviation history. Pla one quarter shell flew out from Tsintai on November 6, 1914 carrying the governor's last dispatches which were forwarded to Berlin through neutral diplomatic channels. On the night of November 6 waves of Japanese infantry attacked the third line of defenses and overwhelmed the defenders. The next morning, the German forces, along with their Austro-Hungarian allies, asked for terms. The Allies took formal possession of the colony on November 16, 1914. Japanese casualties numbered 236 killed and 1,282 wounded. The British had 12 killed and 53 wounded. The German defenders lost 199 dead and 504 wounded. As the German garrison was able to hold out for nearly two months despite a total Anglo-Japanese blockade with sustained artillery bombardment and being outnumbered six to one, the defeat nevertheless served as a morale booster. The German defenders watched the Japanese as they marched into Tsingtai, but turned their backs on the British when they entered into town. The German dead were buried at Tsingtai, while the remainder were transported to prisoner of war camps in Japan. The 4,700 German prisoners were treated well and with respect in Japan, such as in Banda prisoner of war camp. The German troops were interned in Japan until the formal signature of the Versailles Peace Treaty in 1919, but due to technical questions the troops were not repatriated before 1920. 170 prisoners chose to remain in Japan after the end of the war. See also Japan during World War I Kiatsuja Bay Concession Notes. References. External links. Colin Dennis, Tsingtai Campaign, German Colonial Uniforms, The Protected Cruiser SMS Kaiser in Elizabethan Defense of Tsingtai, in the year of 1914.